Hello, Dry January Magicians. I can just barely see you because I don't have my glasses on. How are you? January going for you. So, are you are you doing Dry January? How is it going? Have you been able to stick with it? I have been um, sans alcohol since December 25th, Christmas. I had some champagne at lunch, and then I didn't drink anymore, and I haven't. So, it's like 16, 17 days now. And I said it before, I'll tell you again, the first week is the hardest. Oh, that one size fits all is a lie. That's absurd. Everyone has a different blueprint. Everyone has a different body and a different bodily human experience so one size fits all is a lie however i reckon that for most of us um the first week is has been the hardest now there have probably been some challenging times too for you as there have been for me maybe some difficult discussions maybe some bad days it happens to everybody when you've thought, man, I could really use a drink just to take the edge off of this. Well, whether you did or you didn't, I'm still proud of you because even just being conscious of these urges and these um, tendencies to use things uh, to, to numb our pain or whatever, um, just being aware of that a lot of times is a huge step. There was a time not too long ago when I thought, oh, why would I do January, dry January? I don't need to do that. I drink every day. That's my thing. So what? Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, it just wasn't good for me. I mean, I know like it's a cliche, drinking this every day isn't good for you. But I mean, for me, it really wasn't good for me. It was having all sorts of physical and um, mental, emotional, spiritual implications. And alcohol, my dependence on alcohol, and um, the way that it made me feel, the way that I depended on it, was keeping me quite clearly away from living the life that I wanted to be and from being the person who I wanted to be. And that's not cool. So that's why I did dry January last year in 2022. And I was so proud of myself. And I want to make it clear to you that whether you <clears throat> decide to drink again after January is over or not, that's totally up to you. I see January as a way to prove to yourself because it's just about you. It's not anybody about anybody else. It's a very private thing. I mean, here I am talking about it. But, you know, I mean, if you want to keep it to yourself, keep it to yourself. It's not anybody else's business, right? This kombucha. Mmm, kombucha. So I hope that you're doing well. And um, that some of the things that I have offered might be helpful to you. Things like getting a different perspective, doing something goofy and funny, weird, that you wouldn't ordinarily do. I would say dance around the house, but I dance around the house all the time. So that's pretty ordinary for me. But, you know, maybe look up a Google, Google something that's always intrigued you. I don't know. Capuchin monkeys. What's their story? Look them up. I don't know. Surely there's things that have intrigued you. That you have thought, meh, I don't know. I'd look that up, but I'm kind of buzzed. I'll just sit here and be buzzed. So now you're not buzzed. So look up chimney sweeps. Look up capuchin monkeys. Look up um, Wine Island Seas. Look up, uh, I don't know, xylophones. I feel like when I was a little kid, I thought about xylophones more than I do now. It's probably because there aren't a lot of words that start with X. And so the teachers were always thrusting xylophones at us, if you will. Anywho, 
theremin. There you go. Look up theremins. That's something fascinating. Um, all this just to say that I'm with you through this. And, you know, there's a lot of us to enjoy January together. And learning more about ourselves. And a good, one thing that I like to remember, because though you may not recognize it from looking at me, I'm a bit of a rebel. And um, I don't particularly like to do things just because that's, you know, the thing to do. So, for instance, uh, dry January. I wouldn't have done it if somebody told me that I had to do it or that I needed to do it. My God, if somebody told had told me you have to stop drinking to get a job or something, that would never have worked. No, my motivation had to come from within because that's the kind of person who I am. And it had to be get to the point where I thought this drinking every day and being bloated and uncomfortable and slightly nauseous all the time and cloudy in my head, not connected. Uh, I didn't, I, you know, it, it was hurting more than it was helping. Maybe you're in that position too. And it can be a little bit hard to get out of, it can be a lot hard to get out of a habit, you know, that has come to sort of sustain you. And if even if it weakens you, it's a regular thing, you know. So I would say, along with other things, perhaps try to replace it with another habit, you know. I'm a habit coach. Um, my habits are all spirituality based, um, as is everything I do in my life. So I have a dancing habit, and that helps me feel more spiritual and spiritually connected. I'm not a good dancer. I mean, I'm not a good <laughs> dancer, but I'm a good dancer. Um, and I dance every day, and it helps me so much. I feel so much more connected to my body and to myself than I ever did before, because all through my youth, I felt so incredibly disconnected from my body, you know, and I think a lot of neurodivergent people have that problem. And I think a lot of women, I, I developed really, really early. And so I got a lot of attention that was creepy from grown men. And that's really something you don't ever get over, you know, I think a lot of you who are watching this can attest to that. And so, um, you know, I developed this whole, like, armor, this suit of armor defense system. I mean, elsewhere, I've called it a Quonset hut of defenses. Um, oh. I'd like to know how you're doing with dry January, if you're doing dry January. And it's January 11th, so you could do, like, a little half dry, dry January and start today. Don't finish today, though. Let's go ahead and see it out because you can do this. But you're going to be so proud of yourself. And whatever you decide to do from then on, you'll know that you can give up drinking if you want to. No big deal. Because you're a superstar. And one more thing to remember, my loves, as you go about your day, is that our human bodies and brains are basically, no, entirely the same as they were when we were, um, you know, pre-agricultural hunter and gather people, gatherer people. So, like, prior to 6,000 years ago, uh, we have the same bodies and minds as those people. So, imagine dropping one of those people who is us, essentially, in our very confusing and uh, hectic and um, really coming at you all the time contemporary world that we have. Imagine dropping one of your hunter-gatherer ancestors in this world. They'd probably have a freaking nervous breakdown, right? So, baby, 
Think about you. That's you. That's your ancestors. We have sort of outpaced ourselves somehow with this whole technology situation. And our bodies and brains aren't really made for that. So just as your ancient predecessor would have been looking around for something to calm his or her poor frazzled nerves in this modern world. Sweetheart, that's where you are too. Now, just knowing that took a lot of pressure off me internally somehow. Because it was like, I'm. it's not me. It's not that I can't handle this. It's this has gotten out of control. So, in my opinion, the best thing to do is to find yourself some coping me mechanisms that don't hurt you. So, there are lots of them. And one of them that is my favorite, um, the polyvagal theory, which I talk about ad nauseum. Uh, there's, we have, well, okay. Let me look at it, some of my articles, but there's a vagus nerve. Vagus, baby, in us. And it goes from our brains down through pretty much every organ in our bodies. And when it gets dysregulated, you're dysregulated. And that was the state that I lived in for uh, 40 years, 40 something years until I learned these tricks. And as a neurodivergent person, especially living in this modern world, is um, unsettling to say the least. So there are some things that we can do to help ourselves get through this uh, crazy world where most everything and everyone is unaligned with their natural blueprint. Um, but I want you to know that it's not you it's the world and you can get through this without a drink just know that you are sovereign in your own world okay you're the queen or you're the king of your world don't let other people come and colonize your shit okay stay in charge of your world if you don't want to drink you don't have to drink i love you and you're going to be okay. And I'll be here for you. Let me know in the comments. How are you doing? Are you doing dry January? How's it feeling? I would love to know. And I love you. I'll see you soon.